I don't want that jacket in there. He loves this jacket. It's like 100 years old. It's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I think you had that when we were dating. <laughs> Maybe so. And that's like 41 years ago, right? Yeah. <laughs> Is that the jacket you wore when we went, we did the, uh, we, you went up in the balloon? Was that the jacket you wore or was it black? All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay. It was really gradual for us. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I've always said Pat's been a little bit of a space cadet, so <laughs> it was a little harder to notice, you know. All right, which arm do you want me to borrow? Do you have a uh, reference? This one, I guess. This he was a uh, newspaper editor and reporter for 30, 35 years, and he just couldn't organize everything. And I was just, we were devastated. And the kids love us and embrace mm -hmm. us, but it's just, you feel like we're maybe harder to be around at times. Repeat after me. Apple, table, penny. Apple. Apple. Red. Yeah, it's hard, you know, when, when you've done all those things already, you know, and, and it felt, I felt like I was, I think he feels like he is letting us down, but he can't help it. No. You know, it's, <laughs> you're not. If you include the cost of failures of drug development for Alzheimer's disease and the capitalized cost, that is, uh, what else could you have done with that money? The total cost of developing one Alzheimer's disease drug is $5.6 billion. No one's ever done this before. Nobody's come up with the medication for Alzheimer's. If it were easy, somebody would have done it a long time ago. All drugs must pass through three clinical phases. Phase one is simply getting the drug into a human being without any toxic side effects, oftentimes using different doses to understand how the drug is handled by the body. Does it last? Does it get cleared quickly? Does it get to the target of interest? Phase two is when the drug is administered to a small patient population, where it's evaluated if the drug is effective, and where scientists determine what dosage they want to test in patients in a much larger phase three trial. Thousands of people will be tested in order to look at what clinical benefits and data targets are met across the entire patient population. We collect data from any given patient at multiple time points, at multiple ways to ask uh, questions about that patient's safety or how, how the patient is feeling. We're participating in a study. We don't know if he's taking a placebo or a half or a full dose of the drug, but we're doing something. We meet with like four different people. They're all wonderful. Oh yeah, you they know, are. We spend Great. three to four Great. hours here. One of the things that I always have prob problems with is I'll be reading a book or something like that, and, and, I'll, and then all of a sudden it just kind of stops, you know, or it, it, it um, and then I have to try to get it, uh, try to get it. I know it's there, but I can't get it. I think we've been treating the disease at the wrong stage. I really can't think of a disease where if we wait until people come to their doctor saying something's wrong, that we have a better chance of treating them because the Alzheimer's disease has been building up for 20 years before people get symptoms. It's a long, slow process. We hope that we can bend the curve just enough that people can die out ballroom dancing instead of in a nursing home. You know, this robs wonderful people their deserved end of life. Um, but especially, we don't see the other victims, the family members who take care of them. This affects the whole family, all generations.